Mr Speaker, my question is to the Attorney General and asks, will he meet with earthquake victims' families to hear directly why they need independent legal representation? If not, why not? The Hon. Chris Finlayson. Yes. The Hon. Clayton Cosgrove. Is the cost to the Crown a reason that he won't provide independent legal representation to quake victims' families? The Hon. Chris Finlayson. No. The Hon. Clayton Cosgrove. Supplementary. Specifically, then, given that answer, this is not a joke. what is the harm, specifically, in providing independent legal representation to quake victims' families? The Hon. Chris Finlayson. It's not a question of harm. It's a question of what is appropriate in the circumstances. And I've been very happy with the excellent work that the Commission has done. Justice Cooper, the Chair of the Commission, Council Assisting... Uh, and the family's liaison person have been kept, kept in very close touch with these families to help them through this time. And it's very like the uh, Royal Commission on the Victorian bushfire, which I know the members interested in. The Commission has said, quote, the significance of the losses of 7 February lead Council assisting the Royal Commission to adopt a role in the hearings that represented as far as possible the public interest and particularly the interest of the families, friends and communities affected by the fires. The Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Does he agree that refusing to provide independent legal representation to the families is likely to result in those families losing confidence in the effectiveness of the Royal Commission of Inquiry, evidence of, the, evide the, the evidence of which is provided in an open letter from the Quake families to him and the Prime Minister, which is partly published today. The Honourable Chris Finlayson. No. The point of order, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. I seek leave to table a letter from Quake Families. It's a group representing 50 Quake Families, an open letter to the Prime Minister and Attorney General dated 10 August 2011, which details the lack of confidence that I spoke about. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. The Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Given there is no harm in providing independent legal representation, why is he still refusing those requests for assistance when providing such representation will afford grieving families some degree of comfort during what is, can only be described as an incredibly traumatic time? The Hon. Chris Finlayson. Because I am very satisfied at the excellent work being done by Justice Cooper, the Council assisting the Royal Commission and the family's liaison person. They are doing wonderful work and are keeping in touch with the families and I believe uh, will enable the families to be helped through this very difficult period. Question number six, the Honourable John Biscay.